Hong Kong has a very interesting and complex history. From being part of two very different cultures in the past, it is almost a given that Hong Kong has a very beautiful cultural heritage. To help you learn more about this, me and two other friends from Canadian International School of Hong Kong have made a documentary about the Fringe Club, located in number 2, Lower Albert Road, Central Hong Kong. Did you know that before this building became the Fringe Club, it was actually a storage depository for the Dairy Farm Milk Company? But before we go into all of the historical details, let's introduce you to a bit more to the Fringe Club. The Fringe Club was established in 1983, and the mission statement is to nurture local merchant artists by presenting the work and providing them with a supportive and open environment to create and hone their skills. We engage with cultural heritage work, community outreach, and regularly collaborate with overseas art organizations to showcase and promote Hong Kong and its artists. It's very motivational to have a club to support you in your career as an artist. Well, here's the history that we promised you earlier. The building that the Fringe Club is housed in was built when Dairy Farm Milk was founded in 1886 by Sir Patrick Manson, a Scottish surgeon along with five other distinguished Hong Kong businessmen. They built the building so that it could act as a storage area and distribution space for Dairy Farm Milk. When Dairy Farm moved out of the building in the early 1970s, the Fringe Club renovated the former depot into a building with a cafe garden roof. The interior of the building now has two studio theaters, three exhibition spaces, a rehearsal room, a pottery workshop and showroom, a restaurant, two cafe bars, and of course, offices. At first, the building was in neoclassic style and had walls that were very plain in color. The tilted roofs were made with timber, and there were very antique looking arch windows. As their business grew, the depot was expanded with additional developments in 1913, 1917, and 1925. Soon the building had red and white brick exterior walls. But surprisingly, we found out that most Hong Kong residents are not even aware that the Fringe Club used to be dairy farm, as shown in the following interviews. The Fringe Club was formerly used for something else. Do you think this building was originally a Visa Express restaurant, a hospital, a dairy farm depot, or an apartment To know about historical identity because we need to understand how we, as Hong Kong residents, become who we are today and how we got this far. The former Dairy Farm Milk Storage House is an important landmark, along with other mo monuments in Hong Kong. It is important that we know about this cultural heritage. More specifically, we know that the Fringe Club hosts art exhibitions, has music workshops, presents shows such as dramas and concerts, hosts speakers, and many other events. This is of cultural importance to Hong Kong as it enriches our knowledge, understanding, and appreciation of the culture of Hong Kong and local artists and their work. Have you ever thought about what Hong Kong used to be? How Hong Kong came to be what it is today? Or how we, as Hong Kong residents, came to be who we are now? Think about it. It's time for us to start learning about our cultural and historical identity. <laughs>